Hey guys, it's Austin with Algebe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a Wi-Fi OBD2 scanner for your car. The one I have here today is by Audu. They run about 15 bucks, and I'll post a link in the description below on where you can find one. All right, so with this wireless scanner, as you can see, it's very small. It comes in this little box here. I'll pull it out. And as you can see, it plugs right into the OBD2 port on your car. Now this will work for all OBD2 vehicles. Um, obviously, if it's before 96, it's gonna be OBD1 or Renex or wherever it might be. Now, prior to using this Wi-Fi one, what I've been using is actually a Bluetooth one. Now these are very similar, but the only difference is, is that the way this connects to your phone is through Bluetooth and obviously this one is through Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't th think there's any real difference except, you know, just the way they connect. Now along with this OBD2 scanner, you're also going to need something on your phone, um, a type of app that can connect to this device and be able to read all of your check engine light codes and real time information. So the one I got here is Torque Pro. It's a very popular app. There's other apps out there called like Blue Driver and other ones that um, I don't know off the top of my head, but the two big ones out there are going to be Torque and Blue Driver. All right, so before we go and test this on our vehicle, there are going to be a couple things to set up with your app. Now, since we're going to be using a Wi-Fi scanner, not a Bluetooth scanner, we need to change the settings on the app. Now, Torque automatically has a uh, default as Bluetooth for connectability. So we basically just need to go to our settings right here. And then we need to go to the OBD adapter settings and connection type. You're going to click that and you can either get Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or USB. Now, since we're be using Wi-Fi for the one we're testing today, just click Wi-Fi. All right, so now I'm going to go to the vehicle and put the ignition in the run position and plug in the OBD2 scanner. And we don't necessarily need to be in the vehicle. This has uh, you know, enough range you, where you can scan it outside of the vehicle. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to be testing this on my Jeep Cherokee here. And the OBD2 port is actually down here below the dash on the driver's side. So now we can just take our thing, plug it into place. And then we can go and put this into run. And now we can go and read it from our app. All right, so now that we have the OBD2 connector plugged into the Jeep, we're going to go and connect it to the phone. Now, instead of going to a Bluetooth, we're going to actually connect this to as if it were a Wi-Fi router. I already have this connected up, so it's already connected. Basically, just go on there and press connect. So it might take a few seconds for it to connect, but I finally got it. You might have to close out the app and then reopen it. Um, but after a few seconds, it connected. I already set up a little page where it shows, you know, all the gauges and stuff. As you can see, you know, battery is at 11.7 volts. Coolant's at 37.4. And then all other stuff. And they got this uh, app, so it's fully customizable. You can, you know, put gauges wherever. And they got, you know, a wide variety of uh, what different types of, you know, dials and stuff you want to do. And, and then it can also do whatever sensors you want to read off your vehicle. And it looks like on here for the Jeep Cherokee, whatever is green that's highlighted is what the information we're getting from the ECU back on our phone here. Obviously on newer cars, they're going to have uh, more sensors and stuff that you can be able to read. You know, it's limited on the Jeep Cherokee here. So that's how we see live time information. Now, if we wanted to check engine, basically just go to fault codes on this app, tap here. Now this usually takes about 30 seconds to do, and then it'll come up with all of our fault codes. All right, so as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different faults going on right now. Um, part of this, I think, is a uh, fuel issue. That's why uh, on first startup, my Jeep likes to uh, have a little rumble, misfire, but then it usually goes away. But I know for sure that uh, my downstream O2 sensors, bank one and bank two, they're not even hooked up, so obviously those are popping up. And I think we have an EVAP leak. No, maybe not. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, it reads all your codes. Then you can tap on here, you can do a web lookup. 
don't know if this phone connects to the internet, so it's actually not going to look it up, but it'll basically, it'll basically give you four GM, you know, European cars, you know, what these codes mean, and then you can look up what your problem is from there. So that's basically it with these scanners. You know, they're really cheap and inexpensive. Now this Torque Pro app I got here is about five bucks. They also have a free version, um, which you can use, but you know, you obviously are limited to what you can do on the app. Now with this Bluetooth one I have here, it works exactly the same way, except it just connects through Bluetooth. I don't know why this one connects through Wi-Fi, but it just does, just another way of connecting it. All right, so just to show you guys that the uh, live feed actually works on this, I'm gonna go and start up the Jeep and we should be able to see the RPM and all the other stuff go up. that it's not expensive at all. This is only 15 bucks. When I bought my uh, Bluetooth one, it's only 20. So yeah, not too big of an investment on that. You wanna make sure though, when you do buy them, if it's a different brand or anything, don't get you know the cheap $5 ones from eBay or Amazon because I've heard a couple of them are actually fakes. You know, they just have a plastic thing, but they don't actually work. So make sure you get them from a decent seller and you know, Pay 15, 20 bucks is all you should pay for one of these. No less, no more. So, all right, guys. So that's just going to be a quick video for today. Um, if you like what you see, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions. So make sure to uh, subscribe to the Out Jeeping YouTube channel to help keep these videos coming. And we'll see you guys in the next video.